Okay, okay, welcome back. This is part four, baby. How to design a roof. Okay, this is a continuation of uh, basic elements of the roof. And as we did on the last video, just the previous video, I was recording it just now. We talked about the general truss, the American truss layout, the gable roof. Then I also talked to you about the clear pick of a roof, which is basically, uh, let me just see basically this it's virtually just this drawing and you guys saw it and we also went on the common roof and we also did the gable roof terms now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the hip end of a roof so like I told you there's a gable roof and then there's a, a hip roof okay these are the drawings I told I showed you the gable roof how to do the roof lines for a gable and then I, t I showed you how to do the roof lines for a ridge as well. Dude, scary mosquitoes in this place. <sighs> Dude, I just I just can't handle this man. Yo. Anyways, so this is the hip end of a roof. And as you can see, it's just 45 degree lines from one corner and then 45 degree lines from another corner. And then it goes on and connects to the ridge, brother. So this is how you, the hip end will actually look like from uh, from you know from from real life yeah that's like the 3d from real life you know and then when you scan the drawing this is what you get you get these trusses so in between what you have there's a full trusses right before you hit the hip and this is a full truss which is just similar to the trusses you have in a gable roof right the full trusses but now what differs is once you hit the hip this where the hip right the hip lines connect with the ridge you start going down bro the roof starts sloping down and just from common sense dude you cannot have full trusses right now spanning this side of your roof okay what you have is you now have these trusses these three trusses if you look a bit you have your pick truss then you have this truss this truss and this truss which seems to be cut off so once you get to the hips these trusses are now being cut off at the hips and these are what we call truncated trusses let's just try and zoom in a little bit little bit where is this zoom oh there we go okay there there just look at that like i told you right this is the first truss there it goes this is the first truss this is the truss with a peak but just after because this is the lines from the hips this is the hip line right you feel you feel so on the drawing it comes and it connects there so just after that all the trusses now your roof has to fall okay it has to slope down so your trusses have to accommodate that slope so what we do is we truncate them and truncation basically means cutting off brother we cutting something off you gotta truncate the trunk you feel you feel <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying but <laughs> dude i mean they used to cut i think it was done in england or it was it? i don't know where the word came from but i think it came from england you know them fancy people just saying to each other oh my dear the what son i think we need to truncate the truss now really what son you want to truncate the truss? Oh, yeah. Shakespeare. We need to truncate the truss now. Okay, that was funny. Okay, uh, dude, that was dry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. But what I'm just trying to say is these are what we call truncated trusses. All you have to think of is a chopped truss. Okay, mate. All you have to think of is a chopped truss. That's cool. Anyways, so like I was telling you, you got to think of something that's been chopped. It's been truncated. It's been cut off right so what happens is these trusses now is they come from the end of the wall support when they meet the hip you cut them off just like this it goes and then it's cut off at the hip and then goes it's cut off at the hip so when it once it goes to the hip you cut it off it doesn't extend all the way now it doesn't extend like this all it does is now once you cut it off you then join it with another horizontal member and then you have your truncated trusses to best visualize this 
truncated trusses i have a layout right b right let's just try and zoom it in let's just try and zoom it in dude hey, you, what look at this little thing Gah. dude dude let's just zoom in okay that's better so this is the type of trusses that you put in at the at the end of a hip uh this one is a step down hip where you just you know get your trusses cut it off so this is the first truss that you put uh, after the hips meet the ridge line so this is the first truss that you put right about let me just yes this is the first truss that you put here this is the step down hip okay and then you have the hip get the hip get the hip get the okay this is the this one specifically is this last truncated truss because what happens is as a gidda the gidda means any beam or member that carries other members because now i want you to check something when you look at this truss there are these little trusses this is the funny little trusses and you can tell they connected to the gidda look they they connect to the gidda so basically this truss is carrying these are the members what we call the jacks bro these are called jack rafters okay these are called jack rafters so it's the gidda it's the truss that connects or that carries jack rafters or that carries other trusses so as a rule of thumb this truss is usually offset about 1500 from the wall plate let me just show you on the layout let me just show you on the layout where is the hip where is the hip dude i don't even know i just oh my god who better of roof exactly so this one would be the gitter truss or the gitter of a hip roof you feel that one the one that i just like show you let me just clear everything off let me clear everything off please just a just forgive me i'm definitely gonna get a better application to teach you these things in so this would be the hip gitter because it would carry the jack rafters and the jack rafters these these are the jack rafters these are the jack rafters you feel all right so in in america you your jack rafters end when they meet the gitter but in Zimbabwe or South Africa or African in general, I think you once your trusses meet the gidda or the hip, they start flying, bro. As you can see, the dotted lines they just indicate these ones are no longer supported on a wall plate, but they now supported between two trusses. This one is supported between this rafter, which is the rafter. This one and uh the gitter it's yeah that's basically what it meant so now what else have we not talked about this is a boston hip this is the same thing bro this is the same thing i i just went on the internet downloaded these photos so this is the same thing this is a boston hip i was looking for some because i was taught like practically on the ground people showing me this is this this is this but hey it's the same thing you know so sometimes you appreciate this more when you see it on the ground and yeah this is this is basically dude i see that word too much it's starting to sound like a slay queen bro shish I gotta change i gotta start sounding more cultured you know and educated so i'll start saying virtually so virtually this is um the layout for as you can see, the Boston Dutch or Boston Hipset. Dude, I don't know. Boston Hipset. This reminds me of uh, this other movie called Black Mass, Johnny Depp, about Whitey Bulger. He was a gangster in Boston. Dude, the homie was icy. He was icy cold. You know, one dude came with a bulletproof vest and the dude shot him in the head, bro. And he was like, dude, why we wear bulletproof? We aim for the head, bro. So that's the same thing. When you're aiming for these roofs, you gotta aim for the head. So yeah, this is the layout. This is the 3D representation of how you see it in real life. And this is when it's naked, bro. This is your naked roof. You gotta see it, you know. It's like really naked, but it ain't sexy yet. Right. And then let's just see extensions to the normal roof. 
you sometimes you your roof is, comes in funny shapes and you gotta extend it so this is the situation that you find you have your main trusses the main trusses so what we call the main trusses is just the trusses that serve or support the main reach and then you have the other part or the smaller roof set right where you have the smaller trusses just joined to the main roof so it's it all changes with the type of roof but i'll definitely show you as we go from one roof to another as well let me just check on my time so it's like 10 minutes it's okay and then uh, what else did we not talk about but i think i talked about a lot of things and we now have a picture of what the elements of a roof and anyway, yeah let me just talk about the splice you know the splice uh, it's sometimes in the actual field it's it's just a joint of two trusses because all i know for example from where i'm from timber is sold in meters of six meters so maybe you have a house that spans 15 meters that may, that virtually means you have to connect three members together right because you're gonna have six meters six meters and a three meter so wherever you join the members it's called a splice okay and it's usually found on the bottom cords the top cords is also there but you know usually it's the bottom cords but yo if it really spans because once your span is 15 on the bottom on the top it could be on the top it could cough and there's like two trusses that you have to join and then trust configurations let me just say these are the various types of configurations we have for trusses uh, this is the simplest type of trust, the king post, right? And then you have the queen post, think why. So in Africa, Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Namibia, Botswana, SADC, and in other metric systems, we the configuration that we use is the how trust because this is the best configuration, man. This has been found to transmit the loads in the best way possible. I seriously hoped nobody's stalking me because I'm starting to hear sounds outside dude this is kind of wavy it's different and i think they're listening to me and also yeah so we use any any type of the house system it all depends like you know it's how long it spans as you can see this one spans 24 to 36 feet so base that just means 24 feet that's around eight meters you know 36 feet is around um, 12 meters and 40 to 60 there's the double how so with 60 feet that's we're looking at something around 20 meters you know so yeah it's 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 what we normally use especially i know you know and the double how as well the 40 feet 60 feet it's the same thing and don't worry about the angles about this i want to show you how to do these trusses when you're in autocad now and then the triple how about 80 feet that's that's a span you know because 54 feet that's that's around i'm trying to see i'm trying to see this man i'm trying to see this man but i see it's more than 25 meters you know so yeah it's it's something it's definitely something so yeah i think that's it from me today we definitely talked a lot about roofs you know sometimes i do have to check on the time dude i'm really sorry about that so next time now we really get into placing these trusses and you have an idea of what we're going to be doing and as now as you can see as we do these drawings as you can see those are your trusses those are your trusses let's just see truss e truss e is a full truss as you can see so this is how i drew it this is what i did with truss e and as you see, this is a trunk and this is truss TE, where is TE, as you go, as you can check, it's just, this is where you had the hip lines made on the ridge line. So any truss after that is truncated. So this is TE, 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 and this is how I drew TE. And also this was like, this is the first truss TE, this is the last truss TE, because like I told you, where the truss meets the hip line, that's where you cut it. So I drew the first TE, then I drew the last TE, okay? And uh, what else did I do? So I did GE. So GE is the truss that, this is the last truss. As we, as I told you, that's GE would basically be 
Let me just let me just show you. Let me just show. Would be this trust. This would be G E, man. This would be G E. G E would be the last trust. The as you can see, that would be G E. Okay. So what else now? Let's just go back to AutoCAD. Just hope I still have your attention, guys, dude. Um, and yeah, like I told you. With a roof, sometimes it's best when you see it on the ground, when it's really on the ground. Because, dude, I could go on for 20 minutes and try and explain. Just just imagine me trying to explain to you what boobs are, what they look like. Dude, sometimes it's best if you just see the boobs in person, you know. Like, just see them for the first time, bro. I remember my first time, dude. Whoa, I was, I think I was 10. Yo, dude. It was amazing, bro. <laughs> you definitely get it. Sometimes you get to check it out on the side. So next time, whenever you see a roof, in, and uh, these are the jacks, bro. Like you see the jacks, they connect to the. This is a representation of the last guitar. So in this case, let's just check for my roof, right? As you can see, the J's. These are the jacks. They go on to hang to the guitar. This is the truncated or the hip guitar. Remember the hip kid, hip kid, hip kid. Let's just see. Hip and trust is this is the hip kid exactly. So this will be G A in this case. That's the hip kid, and all of these are just jacks, bro. These are just jacks. And then, like I told you, I'm like in the states. Here in the matrix system, we have flying trusses after. So yeah, dude. And then this also another roof. It becomes complicated. And then what we have TAG is just basically a beam, which okay I'll teach you about that. But for me to go on to that, I have to do the other roof first, and then we also have this. It's all just it's simple, bro. And I'm definitely gonna. I hope now you have an idea of the elements of a roof, and uh, now we can get started on uh, this drawing. So what we're gonna do for the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the layout for the ridge. And I'm gonna do the layout for the hip, and then we're gonna do the trusses as well. So for the hip, what I'm definitely gonna do is I'm just gonna do it for this type, and then we draw the trusses. So this is gonna be my my new house when it comes to the to the hip. So yo, dude, just stay tuned. Uh, don't want to lose your attention. And it's definitely 17. I mean, too much, but this is like what happens with theory. I promise you, the other videos will definitely be small. And uh, yo. Dude, let's just stay geeky, bro. And um, yo, shout out to Stanford, like I said last time, dude. And yo, Max, stay tuned, bro. And everybody else. And Rachel, I still love you, baby. Yo, peace.